I remember one time my grandpa, man, he said that I had came home from, this is about, this is years after I had really just stopped working as a carpenter and, and went to start doing music and running into certain kind of people. I ran into BME, which is Lil John that you know, yeah, Lil John, start working with them and, and um, you know, and I came home, so I was I was with a band called The Chronicle, and I'm I'm jumping around. I was with this band called The Chronicle for seven years, which is Little John, the drummer, uh, Avery Johnson, uh, Billy Billy Odom, Phil Davis on keys, and L Rock. The reason why I mentioned this band is because this band is probably is not probably is the most pivotal band for the sound of Atlanta that you guys know today, right? For me, myself, Organized Noise, Lil Jon, um, the list goes on and on and on. The reason why this band is so so um, pivotal for, for us is because this band was some of the greatest musicians ever assembled. Lil Jon, the drummer, he played for Janet Jackson, Miles, I mean, he, well, he saved him, but George Duke, uh, Stevie Wonder, uh, he played for a whole bunch of people back then, and um, and Avery Johnson, the bass player, produced Never Scared, mm. right? Uh, L Rock uh, produced uh, Yeah for Usher with Lil Jon. Mm. So, you know, and Organized Noise used all the band members that were associated with the Chronicle and all the hits they all did. All that outcast stuff, TLC. Um, so the Chronicle was definitely the reason why we are who we are, right? Um, they taught me how to, uh, by cadences, how to flow a certain kind of way on the groove, on quantized rhythms, uh, the way sounds and words come together, choruses, alto, tenor, bass, all that comes together to make a particular, like um, if you ever listen to Never Scared, I'm really, it sounds like it's one one note, but it's several notes on there. Mm. And I'm like, it's like layers of notes. Mm -hmm. And that's why it sounds so powerful, because I got a big voice, but the big voice with all that notes going through there is um, the reason why it feels like that to you and to most people. Because of my training from, you know, from Avery and Lil John, them man, I really appreciate them the most. And I remember one time, man, we was at a club called Oxygen, where everybody would come back then. Too Short would come in and check out the band, Dallas Austin, the Brat, Jermaine Dupree. Everybody would come and just hang out this one spot, and we would all sit and just listen. They would all sit and listen to us perform. I was a, mm -hmm. I was a head, I was a lead man. Me and me and this comedian named Zoo Man. Zoo Man can really rap his ass off, uh, and we would alternate on the microphone, and I just happened to be on the microphone this night, and Short, Too Short, was uh, in the audience. He said, man, I want y'all to come out, man. Bone Crusher, man, I want y'all to come out, man. You bring the band out, man. I want y'all to do the remix of Getting It. Mm. I was like, Getting It? Like, Getting It? Getting It? The record? Getting it? Mm -hmm. He said, yeah, man, I want y'all to come out and redo the remix, man. I said, cool. So we headed over to uh, um, Oakland City, which was in Oakland City. He's from Oakland, but it's in Oakland City, Atlanta, which is uh, closer to uh, what Tyler Perry Studio is now. Mm. So um, um, he, uh, we went over, we did the session. We went late, like four, five o'clock in the morning. So I'm waiting for the first bus to come in. So I get back to the house. I got to get right back up and go right back to the studio. It's like eight, seven, eight o'clock. So I'm not home long though. I'm home like maybe two hours maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm about to go right back to the studio. It's gonna take me three, four hours to get back to the studio because I gotta catch a bus, transfer, subway train, catch another bus. You know what I'm saying? They don't know. The, the don't commitment know the and the struggle of an artist. Right, 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 <laughs> right. So I'm doing all that. So I'm coming home, I'm, I'm like, man, if I can get home, because I'm still scared of my grandpa, only person in the world I'm ever been scared of. If I, come, if I get help to the house, I'm plotting the whole way back on the bus. If I can get back to the house, <laughs> get dressed, mm -hmm. take a little nap, go to sleep with my clothes on, 
mm-hmm. and leave before old man get to the house. I'll be good. I'm good, <laughs> right? Man, I oversleep. It's eight o'clock. I was like, oh, he gonna be coming in. I said, man, he ain't here yet. So I get up, and I brush my teeth, and I'm out the door. I walk in, I'm out the door. As soon as I get out the door, I see him. I said, oh, man, shit, I got to talk to this dude. He picked up the newspaper. You know how old people are. Mm-hmm. He out there meddling, talking to his neighbor. In the yard. What's happening, Miss Jackson? How you doing? How you doing? Uh huh. just getting home from work. That's at least 15, 20 minutes uh, right, right there. Right, right, right. <laughs> neighborhood watch. Right, neighborhood watch. <laughs> neighborhood watch. Right. I'm, 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 uh, I'm like, man, let me bypass him. Hey, 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 where you going, boy? Oh, I'm about to get on the bus. Where? Oh, okay, oh, he said word. Y'all, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm talking like I'm like 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 I said, uh, 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 uh. once again, I'm not running, but I ain't the toughest motherfucker. <laughs> <Right. guy. laughs> so I'm like, uh, yeah, man, I'm um, going to the um, I'm going to the studio. You say you going well? Uh, uh, I'm going, to, I'm going to the studio, pop. Yeah, I'm going to the studio. I'm, I'm tough enough. I'm going to the studio. He says, huh, huh. You, you, you know what time it is? Mm-hmm. I said, uh, yeah, eight. Nah, I'm just waiting for him to cuss me out. So I'm just, mm-hmm. you know, uh-huh. the kid just kind of, hey man, mm-hmm. go ahead, so go, go, go ahead and give me the thrashing mm-hmm. so I get it over with, mm-hmm. so I get out of here. Mm-hmm. He said, uh, 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 your grandma wake you up? No. Uh, yeah, long clock, long clock wake you up? I said, uh, mm-hmm. no, you know, long clock. So you trying to tell me? Your grandmama didn't wake you up. Mm-hmm. It's eight o'clock. Mm-hmm. And you ain't got no, ain't no, no long clock wake you up. I said, nope. Hmm. You might need to be doing that now. Yeah, because that's that commitment. He's he said, like, uh, mm. I said, I said, what? He said, uh, he said, this young man taking yeah, this yeah, serious. Yeah. Right. He said, uh, he said, let me tell you something, grandson. He said, I'm going to get your uncles off of you. I just wanted to make sure that you was as serious about this as you profess to be serious about this. Mm. He said, uh, your investment in this seems to be very sound. I said, uh, yeah. It's sound, I guess. Yeah. He said, you need to be doing that. I said, for mm. real? He said, yeah. yeah. He said, you've taken everything I've thrown at you. Mm-hmm. Everything I I tried to stop me, you wouldn't stop. I threatened you for kicking you out the house, your ass wouldn't stop damn stop. I told you that you couldn't eat no more mm-hmm. in my refrigerator, your ass wouldn't stop. <laughs> and I thought that was gonna be the one to stop you. Because you was a big boy, you like to eat. I said, yeah, that I didn't like do to eat. Let me tell you something. He said, you should be doing that. Don't let nobody mm-hmm. stop you. Don't let me stop you, don't let your uncle stop you, don't let your grandmama stop you, let nothing stop you from doing this. This is what you're meant to do. And I sat there, man, and I was, I said, wow. Let me tell you something. Don't know Grammy means shit. Mm. Don't know American American Music Award means shit. Don't none of this shit mean nothing to me. The only thing that means anything to me till this day is that my grandfather told me that I was meant to do this. And that mm. I should not stop. That is the ultimate reward for me. 